The latest shot fired in the culture wars or a simply huge misunderstanding in District 20. Tonight, a protest and a heated school board meeting in response to comments made by school board president Tom LaValle. Good evening, I'm Bart Bedsall. And I'm Heather Skold. Thanks for making us your choice for your news at 10 o'clock. Strong words of support, but also strong opposition tonight for the president of School District's 20 Board of Education in Colorado Springs. They came after a 90-minute protest outside the Northside District's office in response to recent comments made by Board President Tom LaValle. KRDO News Channel 13 Scott Harrison has our report after attending the protest and tonight's subsequent board meeting. It took two hours for 62 people to make comments to the school board about the controversy here. Another 160 people watched the meeting online. But it seems that both sides still have yet to find any common ground in this matter. If you see objectionable material, go to the teacher or librarian, or better yet, take several others with you who are like-minded. If you don't get a satisfactory answer, then go to the principal, superintendent, or bring it to our attention on the Board of Education. That comment made this summer in a video to a local church by School District 20 Board President Tom LaValle is at the heart of the controversy. Some critics believe the comment encourages parents to barge into schools, ban books, disrupt the educational process, and show disrespect for overworked and underpaid teachers. Critics also say LaValle's words put minority students at risk. But they have left the definition of it ambiguous so that they can lump things like true history, talk about slavery, and what they would deem wokeism, they keep it lumped under that. But others believe LaValle's comments exemplify the leadership needed in the district. I have no problem with the school board president or any school board member encouraging parents to be more involved in children's education and knowing what's happening. We have every right to know what's taking place inside of our schools, to know what's being taught our children, and frankly, I can't understand why anybody would be against that. LaValle's opponents are demanding that he resign, but his only response was to repeat a written statement he released earlier. Teachers are the backbone of this district, and I have nothing but respect and admiration for each one of them. Many teachers here tonight spoke out on behalf of other teachers who say they're afraid to step forward because of the division in this district. And they say that if it doesn't improve, they'll leave. In Colorado Springs, Scott Harrison, KRDO News Channel 13.